What's up, you all? I'm actually about to uh, show you all how to set up this studio live uh, mixer right here. And we're going to be working with FL Studio. I see that there's not many videos on this, so this I'm going to go ahead and create. Um, when you first turn this thing on, all right, you can perform a master reset by turning it on and holding this effects button right here until you see the splash screen it'll load up and eventually you know it'll load up make sure your uh you can connect your computer via ethernet to the uh to the mixer you could also use it the the wire the wireless router uh connecting both your laptop and your or your computer and your mixer to a wireless router the same wireless router for that functionality the same functionality uh, you're just connecting them both. Make sure you also connect via USB to your computer. Uh, open up uh, the universal control software that comes with this right here. It's like the interface that you will certainly need in order to make this happen. Uh, in DAW mode, you will see this UC Net button right here. Uh, while your lap, while your computer is connected to the mixer, Ethernet, and USB, you can use a self-assign and apply. What what will happen is an automatic IP address will be uh, linked from here to your computer. Make sure they can talk back and forth to one another. Um, if if you're going to be using this with the DAW, make sure you tap the software control. You know, uh, recognized DAWs will actually populate right here. It'll show you. But if in this case right here, because, you know, this is FL Studio and they made these boards uh, for Logic and Pro Tools, right? Uh, we won't see FL Studio sitting right here because they, they made it for those. Uh, Preson is Logic and Pro Tools. Um, Preson is Studio One. So in this case right here, we're going to go ahead and uh, show you since we have already got that. Once you get this generated... Uh, select the Mackie control uh, emulation. This is for FL Studio. This video is specifically for the FL Studio. Select the Mackie control emulation right here from this drop down box. You see this little boom? Uh, that's what happened. You select and, and give it right there. Select your software control. So at this point, uh, when you open FL Studio, and I already have mine open. Uh, we're just gonna click the dog mode at this point, right? So the faders align, and we're gonna go to the audio settings. What's gonna happen in the audio settings? You have two options here. You will find, after everything is installed properly, the WDM56, 1, 2, 3, 4, and the ICO Studio Live Series 3 uh, uh, driver right here. Uh, if, in order to to play anything let's say you you're going to be using DAW mode you're going to hit this tape edit right here and this right here has a bluetooth option and this is analog bluetooth for the tape in right well because we're we're using a DAW and we're trying to you know control etc et right here we're going to click bluetooth not bluetooth but the usb option right here and this right here this line over this means uh that this option is selected what you're going to do at this point use this knob right here and turn your main up so that some signal can go to your speakers that are going to be playing right um and then you can use this monitor knob to to you know hear how much your gain typically this is what i do i would turn i would turn it all the way up sorry about that i would turn it all the way up and then i would adjust this gain to know how much sound I want coming through this at a max capacity like at, at zero decibels of the speakers and then I go there but as you can see uh, USB 3738 so if you're using this ASIO version uh, we're gonna and I would recommend using ASIO because the analog 1-2 the analog 1-2 in this section right here in the mixer, you're gonna have to click this mixer, go down to the bottom, the output right there, and you're gonna select channel one and two. That's if you select the channel one, two up there. But in this case, as we saw, like right here, three, uh, 3738, we're gonna select channel 3738 right there, okay? And now you can hear anything you wanna hear in here. So. What I'm going to do for the sake of this video is pull up this 
something must be happening out there. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna send or open in a new channel. And for the sake of this video, uh, I think I have my monitors all the way down, so I'm gonna turn those up. Oh yeah, and with this, I'm gonna turn those off. And I'm going to, see, there's sound coming through right now. All right, and you can hear it. Thank goodness we finally got this feet out of the way uh no longer needed i just did that for the sake right here um you can i'm not really sure if you can adjust this right here however in the system you can you can have a 48 sample sample 48 rate sample rate 48,000 hertz sample rate i'm sorry and uh we're, we're gonna continue on uh for your microphones um you are in Dalmo right now, right? What you're going to do if you want signal from your microphones, you're going to get out of Dalmo, all right? You're in analog mode. And I've already preset this stuff right here. So uh, what you're going to do, I have I have three XLR cables connected to two, three, and four. On the mixer, I've also assembled them two, three, and four, right? So that there is no confusion. What I did also is I took the signal up to the microphone, right? And I placed them at Unity. And now that there's signal coming through the microphones at Unity, I can now apply, or, or at any at any level, I can now apply these right here. See, this channel, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here. Since channel 2 is selected, uh, or slot 2 is selected on the mixer, I'm gonna, you know, where I have it is channel two. Channel two is down there. Same thing, channel three, channel four. I'm gonna go over here to the top where the input section is and put the corresponding inputs there. So at this point right here, we are good to go. So it, I think this one is here. So I'm snapping my finger now. In, in front of microphone two, also have microphone three in here as well. So at this point, I'm going to go back to the DAW mode, and there it is. Uh, yes, these do work. These mutes do work with that. So watch me turn it off and turn it on. See, it's off, and then it's on. Just for me touching the button. So you do have some extensive control with this. Now, uh, if you want to use your faders, uh, the in the MIDI section under Options, Options tab right there, the MIDI. All right, you have main and on this thirty-two, and you on the on the S, you will have the main extension one, extension two, and three. On the other ones, you may have extension one, one extension, or two extensions. Either way, you're still going to do that. And I have this set up as a generic controller for something else. I'm going to show you why just momentarily. Uh, Mackie Control Universal. All right, so main Mackie Control. You see the ports. I have 0, 8, 16, 24. You can use 1, 9, uh, 1, 9 17, and 25 as well. But uh, each of these are set on their own one. And this is the Mackie Control Universal. Uh, FL Studio on May 7, 2022, as far as I know, does not so currently support the Mackie Control Extender. That means that each one of these faders are going to be linked in pairs of eight. So this means if I move fader one, fader nine, fader 17, and fader 25 will move simultaneously. So let's check this out. See that? So you're like, man, what, what the world is going on here? I want to use all of my faders at once. That's literally because FL Studio does not support the extender right now for more than eight faders. And it's it's a shocker for me. All right, but there's a workaround. And I, I was showing you that before. You can 
uh, go here to the input and select this as a generic controller. Okay, a generic controller. And when you do that, you can link your. Hold on. So you can link your mixer. You can link the parameters. So since one through eight and the master channel, the master fader is working correctly. All right, you want to start with nine, and you would link to the perimeter right here, all right? And what it'll do, it'll show up this button right here, and you see it says auto detect, all right? And what I will do at this point, I will move this fader, and you will see what happened with fader nine, all right? You see, when I move that fader, that's what happens with fader nine. What about fader 10? All right, what about fader 11? So once once I start moving these faders, I understand how I should link them. So link to controller, same option comes up, fader 11. You see, you start linking them this way right here. However, the, the difference is these, these are motorized faders and those are pretty static. And this is meant to do something specific and linking that linking this and it says that it's a generic option so it doesn't really know how to specifically use these options it's just saying you know our, our realizing input is going on this option etc blah 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 so i'm going to try to you know make it make sense to me that's what the computer is saying we'll try to make it make sense to me on or off on or off uh so uh, one of those options you have whenever you try to link to the controller is the default option right here. So you can who hold latch the incorporate or stay button right here, stay option, and then you know adjust that to your desired liking um, for these additional faders to be connected. So from one through eight are all set automatically because it's Mackie Control Universal. Uh, the generic settings will be from 9 to 16, 17 to 24, and then 25 to 32. You can set those parameters. Like I said, the master fader is already working along with the first eight. All of these buttons here are working as well. And like I said, you're going to have to set your own parameters whenever it comes to like linking to the controller. All right, with that right there. So I hope this helps you get set up you will certainly be able to do whatever you want and and i'll open up a session right right now for you i won't be saving this uh, setting uh but i will open up a session so that you can see how this will work all right so since this session is loading Okay, and sorry about this. Uh, it's taking taking a bit longer. And like I said, the the from one to eight, and you see how these right here, how how I changed it on the last one. That this is a generic controller. All right, from nine to sixteen is a generic controller. It automatically didn't know what to do while the other ones knew what to do because they were repeating sections. They were repeating sections. So it automatically goes to the settings I had on here and it plays. So these buttons do work. Uh, hold on. I think, let me see here. All right, you see, this is automatically set to channel one and two. What I need to do, because I have the out, output, uh, the media, the audio on uh, ASIO, I'm gonna have to change this to 37, 38. All right, and then. I don't wanna sleep. Shit. I don't wanna sleep. And I hope that answers your questions one other thing uh why you are i just got out of DAW mode by clicking DAW. why you are and this is in the same section here you can click this page and you will see your effects 
uh, these will be your effects, your tape in, talk back, etc. We're gonna go back here for these microphones. If you wanted to do like the analog, you select, and then you have your parameters up here, your EQ. You know, if you wanted to, you know, do compression, etc. All of that will be there. All right, so uh, I just have this set to my my standard, and you know. You can set yours to any. It just helps out in the long run.